Despite centuries of intensive farming, Ayrshire has a surprising number of prehistoric and ancient stones. And for the purpose of this video, I am excluding medieval stones. The cup and ring mark stones at Balak Mile are amongst the most significant in Britain in terms of the complexity and number. They're also unusually on a vertical surface. They're thought to date from around 4000 BC to 1000 BC, that is from the Neolithic through to the Bronze Age. St. Inan was a 9th century saint. This is probably a modified natural feature. He's said to have preached from here and converted the locals to Christianity. Cairn Duff is a Bronze Age burial mound. It overlooks the town of Stuarton in a prominent position. It's reckoned to be around 3,000 years old, and when first discovered, it contained a number of urns which had bones and ashes within them as a result of cremation. The cairn was made up of thousands of boulders, probably carried up from the nearby Anic water. The site has never been fully excavated. Several stones in Ayrshire have the name the Carlin. The Carlin is thought to be a Celtic goddess, that is the old hag, the divine ruler, ruler of winter. So between Samain, which is November, and Beltane, which is May, she would rule the season. The sign of her weakening power would be the signs of the coming of spring. The Carlin stone on the common crag overlooking Dunlop is also known locally as the Old Hag. There's another Carlin stone on Whiteley Moor, a very conspicuous large boulder. Place names contain the word cat, may derive from the Scottish wildcat. However, a number of others are thought to come from a Celtic word meaning a battle or a burial site. The cat stone near Dal Rai is said to be in the site of a battle. It's also thought that maybe these very prominent stones were used as running points where troops would assemble prior to warfare. There's a well-known catstone on Arran, which is often used by novice climbers to test their skills. It's said to mark the site of a skirmish. The church at Old Daly contains the remarkable survival, the charter stones. These were an alternative to the, the written deed of ownership. So the possession of these stones gave the right to the land they were on. They were later used as trials of strength. They've been tied down so they can't be lifted now. One has the name in official circles of Old Blue. On Cuff Hill, overlooking Beeth, there is a Logan or Rocking Stone. Originally a glacial erratic carried and left here after the last glaciation in a position when, where when it was pushed it would slightly move. One of the most fanciful suggestions is this was used by Druidic priests who would be asked a question, put the stone into motion and would interpret its motions as an answer.